Mason. I'm going to be your host for this evening. Unfortunately, Scylla Black wasn't available, so surprise, surprise, you're stuck with me. Uh, anyway, on with the show. We're going to be hearing 14 new tracks tonight from 14 new creative partners. Uh, we're going to listen to nine songs in the first half, then we're going to have a short interval, followed by five songs in the second. We're then going to be joined on stage by some special guests by the judges quickly decide on the winner that they would like uh, to choose. And we're very uh, lucky to be joined here today by a panel of industry professionals that have a plethora of experience across the musical theatre industry. So will you please join me in welcoming our Irish Theatre judges. Tonight we're joined by musical theatre and composer Michael Bruce. We have West End performer Louise Gold, actor and record producer Simon Grief. We also have the West End pianist and musical director Nigel Lilly and composer and musical director Tim Sutton. So thank you very much for joining us here today, guys. Now, of course... Of course, even though tonight is a competition, it is more about celebrating the new partnership of new creatives, so we would like support for everyone across the board if possible. Some of our acts haven't had long to rehearse, uh, and this is also the first time that any of our lyricists and musicians have been partnered together. So lots of clapping, lots of cheering, lots of whooping, all that sort of stuff. It's supposed to be fun, so let's enjoy it. Right. Yeah! <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Now, before we get started tonight, guys, Dan and Laura did want me to give you a little bit of brief history about the show and about how we got to where we are tonight. Uh, now, back in October, they did ask the composers and lyricists to submit fun personal ads, which were then published on their website for all to see. In November, they each emailed in with their top five personal picks from other ads. Uh, and Laura and Dan from Iris then spent the next couple of weeks deliberating and deciding who they were going to partner with who and setting up these creative blind dates. In December, each new partnership was then given their theme. Now the theme for tonight's show was songs inspired directly or indirectly by the play As You Like It, which is in fact Iris Theatre's summer show. It's going to be on in July, so I hope you can all make that one. Uh, now why were they given a theme? This was because they wanted the songs to have a story. It gave each the composer and the lyricist a story to write for. Now at the end of January, they had a workshop here at St Paul's to work on each of the songs. And then of course, as always, there was a frantic last minute rewriting. And uh, the last 10 days of rehearsals, which has led us here to where we are tonight. So we do hope you will all enjoy the show. So without further ado, I would like to introduce our first act this evening. Uh, the song is called Out of Oblivion, and it was written by Rebecca and Jay. A round of applause. <laughs> now, in his advert, Jay described himself as Hammerstein looking for Rogers, possibly for Rogering. We don't know whether he got his wish, but if you picture this, we step under the spreading shade of a broad-leafed ancient forest. Our first song beckons us into the woods, a storehouse of our memories, and a metaphor for our long and eventful lives. So without further ado, out of oblivion. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Well done, well done. Uh, now our next song, moving swiftly along, is uh, The Charms of the Country, and this song was written by Ian and Katie. Now, in his ad, Ian describes himself as a successful screen composer wanting to do it in front of an audience. Katie as a lyricist with a regular partner looking for discreet fun on the side. Perfect match. Now, in their song, Corin, a simple country bloke, meets Touchstone, a highbrow, high-class, courtly gentleman. They don't agree on much, but uh, maybe they can find some common ground. Here it is, The Charms of the Country. That was the boys with the charms of the country. Fantastic. Okay, guys, the next song is by Noam and Carl. Uh, it's called If I Was. Woo! Exactly. Uh, now, after they were put together in their partnership, Noam took off to Ireland and it's Israel almost immediately after they started work. And then once he got back, Carl then left for India or Brazil. So I guess you could say this song is a little bit bi continental. Who writes this? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> 
In As You Like It, uh, Ganymede is a boy character played by Rosalind, and Rosalind, in turn, is a female character that would have originally been played by a boy actor. So I guess if you think of it as classical gender bending, gender bending at its finest. Uh, the song puts both female and male sides of the same single person on stage. It's what we call a very, very modern love song. So welcome to the stage. Give my world. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Now, the next song that we're going to have up here is Incurable, and this was written by Amy and Kent. Now, in their song, As You Like It is transported to the prairies of small-town America, a sassy and cynical Rosalind lambasts her heart-sick and foolish friend Celia for her incurable addiction to romance. Ladies and gentlemen, Incurable. That was Incurable by uh, Amy and Kent. Our next song, ladies and gentlemen, is Caught in a Reel, and it was written by Stephanie and Joe. Joe is based in New York and Stephanie in Southampton, two towns so far apart, but they have so much in common. Really? Uh, now, in their song, we have a love triangle where a man is torn between his passion for two women, uh, one who wants him and another woman who wants them both. Uh, and he finds pitting them against each other a delicious game. Sounds fantastic, let's have a look. Guys, caught in a reel. Now our next song for this evening uh, is called Rest A While. Now this song was written by Harrison and Bethany. Now in this song, uh, we're returning to the specific plot of As You Like It. And this song dramatizes the moment when weary and broken Adam, an old and faithful servant, tries to persuade his young master Orlando to leave him behind. Ladies and gentlemen, rest a while. Now our next song for this evening is For Better or Worse. Now this song was written by James and Louise. Louise first met James in a coffee house on the South Bank. He was sitting across the room from a white grand piano, but unfortunately the only sweet music they made was in their little notebooks. Uh, in As You Like It, Rosalind notes that time travels in diverse paces with diverse persons. And in this song, it explores a couple of characters that she describes, starting with a condemned man. Ladies and gentlemen, for better or worse. Now our next song for this evening, ladies and gentlemen, is Don't Want to End Up Like Jess. Now this was written by Nicola and Raphael. Nicola and Raphael first met on Skype. Uh, Nicola decided not to switch on her camera and introduced herself by saying, I really hope you're not one of those lyricists who don't do any work. At that point, Raphael decided not to switch on his camera either. Now bringing the themes of As You Like It into the present day, their song looks at the rivalry and friendship between two female friends who make very, very different life choices. Don't want to end up like Jess. <laughs> song of this half, uh, we have My Sexual. Uh, this was written by Luke and Mary. Now, Luke and Mary hoped that this process would yield a partnership of boundless musical symbiosis, professional respect, and creative chemistry. Instead, they've gone together like gin and tonic, Cabernet and Savignon, and Hinge and Bracket. My Sexual could have been interpreted as a modern-day Rosalind, liberated from the patriarchal repression of her age and free to explore her emanciated sexuality. Or, of course, it could just be a song about a dirty old slapper. But you be, you be the judge. Our final song for this half, My Sexual. song for the first half, uh, so congratulations to all of you who just performed them, fantastic. We're going to have a short 10 minute break, we have Colin and Wendy at the bar at the back, the West End's cheapest bar, so go get yourself leathered, self leathered for the second half, and be back here in 10 minutes. <laughs> Thank you. 
really well done, guys. No matter what happens in that room, they're all winners anyway, in respect to uh, Now, while we're waiting for them to come back, we're going to be joined on stage by some special guests, uh, people who have been a part of the previous sort of working process. Uh, we've got a friend of Iris Theatre, first and foremost, who is, uh, was a part of the working process one. Now, his name's Joe Sterling, and he's going to be up here in just a few moments to sing a couple of songs. His album, Somewhere in My Mind, The Songs of Joe Sterling, if you like his stuff tonight, you can find it any good retail store, any good record shop, all of those sorts of places. Uh, so here's Joe, he's going to sing two songs for us tonight, ladies and gentlemen, and they are going to be Little Voice and Miss Automatum. So a big round of applause, please. For Joe, come on, Joe! Woo! Please welcome Louise Gold. 